What's up all you beautiful people out there? This is Shivangi and welcome to the Daydream Project Beauty. When I made a video about top 6 foundations available in India, I had asked you guys to leave a comment and let me know which foundation you want to see a demo of. And the most popular request was for Huda Beauty 4 Filter Foundation. And that's exactly what I'm here for today. Fortunately, in my mail today, I finally got this Huda Beauty Rose Gold Remastered Palette. I had been waiting to receive this palette from a very long time. I know it is not available in India right now. I actually ordered it from somebody in US. But since I was going to do a demo and review of Huda Beauty 4 Filter Foundation, I decided to include the demo and review of this palette as well. By the way, guys, I've given some timestamps in the description. So if you want to directly skip to a certain part, of this video you can do that by clicking on that timestamp. Before I give you the demo of 4 filter foundation let me just quickly show you the swatches of Huda Beauty Rose Gold Remastered palette. This is the first row of the palette. This is the second row of the palette. And this is the third row of the palette. Now that we are done with the swatches, without much further ado, let's start with the demo of 4 Filter Foundation. So as usual, I'm starting off with a clean face right now. I only have some moisturizer and sunscreen on. And the first thing that we're going to do is to prime our face. And for that, I'm using my Prep Plus Prime Fix from MAC. I'm just going to spray some of this on and let it dry completely. Alright, so now we're going to dive into our foundation. The consistency of Huda Beauty 4 Filter Foundation is quite thick. So I prefer using a beauty blender to blend it. So I'm going to take one pump of it in my hand. And I'm going to start applying it with my beauty blender. You guys can see right, this is pretty full coverage. Alright, so I am done blending my foundation and this is the kind of coverage that it gives in just one pump. I mean, just look at it guys. It's covered everything. So happy. One thing to note is that since the consistency of this foundation is a little thick, it will take you a bit extra time to blend it on your face, but it's totally worth it because the result is amazing. To set this foundation in place, I'm going to use Makeup Revolution Banana Powder. I'm using my beauty blender to apply the powder. In my top 6 foundation video, when I told you guys that I don't use a concealer with Huda Beauty 4 filter foundation, I really meant it. I mean, just look at the finish guys. You actually don't need to apply any concealer with this kind of coverage. Since this is more of a review and demo video of Huda Beauty 4 Filter Foundation and Huda Beauty Rose Gold Remastered Palette, I am not going to go step by step with my makeup. I am going to skip a few steps to keep this video short but I will definitely show you how I'll create an eyeshadow look. So let me just go and finish up my eyebrows and contouring and then I am going to come back and we are going to play with this beautiful palette. I'm done with filling out my eyebrows and my contouring and now I'm taking the slight brown transition shade from the palette called Sandalwood and I'm filling out my crease with that shade. Once that's done, I'm taking this beautiful pink shade called Doll Face from the palette and I'm going to fill this on my crease as well, this time with a smaller brush. After that, I'm taking this darker pink shade called Risk and I'm going to apply it on the outermost and the innermost corners of my eyelid. I'm 
I'm applying the same shade in my lower lash line as well, not all the way through, just halfway through. Now with a fluffy brush, I'm going to blend out the shades on my crease to avoid any hard edges. After that, I'm taking this stunning glittery shade called Pink Diamond from the palette and I'm going to apply it on the center of my eyelids. The color payoff was not that great with a dry brush, so I decided to use my fingers instead. And that actually gave a very good color payoff. I'm going back to the darker pink shade called Risk from the palette and I'm going to reapply it on the outer and innermost corner of my eyelids and with a very light hand on my crease as well to add some depth and definition. After that, I'm taking this stunning gold shade called 24 Gay from the palette and I'm going to apply it in the innermost corner of my eyes. Now I'm taking this light shimmery shade called Bubbly and I'm going to highlight my brow bone. With that final step, my eyeshadow is done, I'm going to finish the rest of my makeup and get back to you guys in a bit. I'm done with my makeup and I'm back guys and if you guys are wondering what I'm wearing on my lips I'm wearing this lipstick from Maybelline from their Inti Matte Nudes collection in the shade Smitten. Now let's start with the pros and cons of both our Huda Beauty products. I'll start with the foundation first. This foundation retails for 2,990 rupees in India and it is only exclusively available in Nykaa. Now, I honestly don't have many negative things to say about this particular foundation because I love it. I think the coverage, the finish, everything is just amazing about this foundation. The only thing which I can possibly mention is for you to get the hang of applying this foundation. It can take a while because the consistency is quite thick but as I mentioned earlier if you have like a good beauty blender or if you're somebody who's comfortable applying foundation with your fingers this is the foundation that you need in your life guys this is amazing I actually never use the concealer when I have this foundation on I did not apply any concealer even to finish up my makeup the only product which I applied at the end was this Lacme absolute compact that too just a little bit on the central areas of my face but that's about it it actually doesn't need more products to set it in place or for you to get the perfect finish this foundation itself serves all the purposes this foundation also lasts pretty long it actually lasts throughout the day and it is excellent for oily skin people as well it is neither too dry nor too oily so pretty much all skin types can use this foundation currently there are 28 shades available in Nykaa of this particular foundation I'm in the shade Latte but there is no chance that you won't find your match so you're pretty much sorted when it comes to finding the perfect shade for your skin tone as well Another point which is neither a pro nor a con for me is that this has a perfumey fragrance to it but it kind of subsides after a while and it is not too overpowering. So if you're somebody who absolutely hates any sort of fragrance in their products, I'm just letting you know in advance that this does have a little bit of a perfumey fragrance. Overall, Huda Beauty 4 Filter Foundation has too many positive points against the negative ones so I absolutely recommend this product to all of you out there. This is my holy grail foundation. I love it and I totally, totally, totally recommend it. Now let's talk about Huda Beauty Rose Gold Remastered Palette. Again, this palette is truly amazing guys. It's definitely one of the best eyeshadow palettes that I've used in a long, long time. All the shades are so pigmented and so buttery. The blending is literally a cakewalk with this palette. So even if you are a beginner, you can literally create so many stunning looks with just a little bit of practice. This is an amazing palette. The only negative points about this palette is that few of the matte shades have quite a bit of fallout like when I was using especially this light pink shade it was falling out quite a bit but 
I don't mind it because overall the quality is on another level and the pigmentation is too strong. This will actually last me a very long time because I did not have to dip my brush again and again to get the pigmentation off. One swipe, two swipe and it was there. Another thing to note is that all these glittery shades on this palette, they don't give a good color payoff if you're using a dry brush. You definitely have to use either a wet brush or your fingers. Only then the payoff is amazing. But that's not really a con because if you use a dry brush to apply any glittery shade from any palette, it won't give you as good of a color payoff as a wet brush or your fingers would. Coming to the price of this palette, it's definitely on the higher side. It's currently retailing for $68 on shophudabeauty.com which is approximately 4,600 rupees. And if you're importing it to India, you have to pay the customs fees as well. So it overall crosses the mark of 5,000 rupees which is quite a bit for an eyeshadow palette. But at the same time, if you're a makeup lover and you want to treat yourself or if your birthday is coming up and somebody is asking you what they should get you as a gift, this is what you should ask for. Feel free to tag that person in the comment section below. Overall guys, I'm super impressed with both these products from Huda Beauty. I think they are worth every penny. The quality is to die for. And if you can get your hands on these products, then definitely go ahead and get them for yourself. You will really love them. We've come to an end of this video. I really hope that you enjoyed watching it. If you have any questions or just want to say something, just leave a comment in the comment section below and I would love to hear from you. It's time for me to sign off for now. I shall see you in my next video. Bye-bye. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel. I'm going to come up with a lot more fun beauty stuff and we're going to come up with a lot more fun crazy stuff because there's something for everyone on this channel. So until next time, stay happy, stay blessed and keep daydreaming. Bye!